Sagis, hello, how are you doing? Good to see you, Sagittarians. Welcome to your general love reading for May 6, 2022. <laughs> Hope y'all doing well. It's good to see y'all. Hope y'all have fun for Cinco de Mayo. All right. Those of you that went and got your taquito, your tacos, and your margaritas, and your tauta, and your guacamole. Okay, I like it. I like it. All foods that I love. <laughs> I haven't had Mexican in a while, you know? But, um... Somebody might be eating Mexican food right now. Maybe that's why I'm talking about it. Yummy. Lucky for you. Anyway, welcome to your love reading. It's a general reading, so it's not going to apply to every single person. If you want something more specific, you can check out the description box. There is an email there where you can email me if you want to inquire about purchasing a personal reading. Okay? There's also all of my social media information if you want to check that out. That's all below, as well as the extended reading link if you want to purchase it for this reading, okay? If you want to become a member, click the join button, right? There's also a membership link. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Please show your girl some love, you know what I mean? Please, please, please show your girl some love. Spread the word, all right? Now, nah, shout out to all of you who always do show love in the emails. My Sagittarians are awesome supporters, you know? I appreciate all of you and your comments and all that. So let's get into your reading now. Let's just do a general pull for you. I'm so happy I found this deck because this is the second deck that I have of this one. And you know what's crazy? I was going to order a third one because I thought I lost this one. And I found it. I found it when I was packing the other day. So I was very, very excited about that. So I haven't used this one in a while. Long time. So... You're breaking its over, I guess you could say it's second virginity. <laughs> so let's see. Universe, show me what I need to see, please. Show me what I need to see for Sagittarius. What's going on with Sagittarius in love? Let's just do a general freestyle spread first, and then we'll do, ooh, Page of Pentacles tried to pop out. Now, I'm not sure if that is a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn you're dealing with, okay? Okay could be somebody younger you're dating some of you let me see show me what i need to see please in general let's see what we got boom death card damn we're gonna start like that damn we're gonna start like that sad some of y'all dealing with a scorpio a lot of y'all got scorpio in your charts though king of pentacles okay queen of wands okay Ooh, it's showing me some type of ending for you. It's showing me there's somebody here that, that wants you. They're right next to you. You're the queen of wands, male or female. Look, Hierophant is your overall energy here. Taurus, that's about a commitment. That's about a serious relationship, commitment. Okay, um, there's somebody here that's committed to you. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That's that page of Pentacles person that we saw earlier. Okay, seven of cups. You got options though. I don't think you've put all your eggs in one basket, but I'm seeing an ending for you. I'm seeing an ending and then a new beginning. But a lot of you are very similar to Leo's read. Focus on your focus on your career or your career is definitely an option. Your money, I mean not an option. It's a priority right now. It's the front center front and center but it's showing me seven of cups so you are still interested in what's out there some of you don't get offended when i say this this isn't all of you some of you have had some flings or you've had some sex or you've had some you know friends with benefits or whatever when i see the ace of wands in reverse there's something some type of transformation you're going through with the death card there was some ending with somebody oh seven of swords is here on the bottom judgment all right, let's go ahead and get into, you look real good too, Queen of Wands energy. You look real taking care of yourself. You're looking very attractive. You're very confident. You're very passionate. And you're also drawing a lot of attention to yourself. Yeah, with the Queen of Wands energy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a very sexual energy. That's why I said there's a few of you, not all of you, so don't leave me no comment. I ain't having sex with nobody. And I ain't talking about you, cobwebs. Okay? That wasn't for you there. <laughs> <laughs> huh? 
how does Leo feel? If there's a person in Leo's life they're dating, talking to, that's around them right now. How does Leo feel about this person? How do you feel about this person? Why did I just say Leo? Let me reshuffle. You're not a Leo. You're a Sagittarius. Some of you are talking to a Leo or a Cancer. Okay, let's reshuffle. Sagittarius. I don't know why I said Leo. Some of y'all dealing with a Leo. And look, King of Wands there when I say Leo. That's, that's definitely Leo energy right there. All right. All right. How does Sagittarius feel about this person that they're talking to or they're dealing with right now or that's surrounding them here in love? Three of Wands in reverse. The world in reverse. The judgment in reverse. Okay. Slow your brakes. Four swords. Yep. Slow your brakes. You are chilling <laughs> some of y'all not even ready to start no new cycle just yet some of you want a committed relationship or to commit to somebody but world in reverse there's a cycle you haven't even closed out yet some of y'all not even ready to start a new cycle yet three of wands in reverse that's some delays though some shit holding it up judgment in reverse four swords you waiting four swords is, i'm chilling this is this Relax it. How does this person feel about you? Two of swords in reverse. What in the world? Oh, nine of pentacles in reverse. Seven of wands in reverse. Six of swords. What in the... Bottom of the deck, mutual energy is the eight of swords in reverse. A free energy. There's that seven of cups again. So it's showing me, and the King of Pentacles, it's showing me options for both of you. So, your person's energy is kind of confusing. Two of Swords in reverse, Nine of Pentacles in reverse, Seven of Wands in reverse, and the Six of Swords. Who is this? The seven of wands in reverse, is that them letting their guard down or are they? I don't know what's going on with this person. Six of swords. That can mean. That's just about transition movement. Your person seemed confused. Two of swords in reverse. Like they don't know what to do. Let me go ahead and clarify these. Let me see the three of wands in reverse here. The lovers. It's about a choice in love. Some of y'all dealing with a Gemini. You got a big choice to make here in love, a decision to make. Yeah, especially with the judgment here. Let me see the world in reverse. Ace of Swords. That's about clarity. Let me see the judgment in reverse. King of Wands. Pisces energy here. Let me see the four of swords here. Yeah, you're chilling right now. It doesn't seem like, like, I feel like, I feel like there's somebody here that's on your dick or there's somebody here that wants you, you know what I mean? And I feel like you're not really choosing to give everything just yet. I, I, I see a connection. I see you do feel something with the lovers here, but I feel like you're also like, I'm slowing my roll. It's like you're trying to feel it out from the universe to see what direction you need to go in. 
your person, let's see, two of swords in reverse. Clarify the two of swords in reverse here. Five of swords, what the? F Clarify the six of swords. Three of pentacles, ooh. Let me see the nine of pentacles in reverse. The de uh uh no oh 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 hell to the no ho let me see the seven of wands in reverse oh okay oh uh, uh, uh. Okay, who is this person? Okay, um, they pull in some crazy energy when I clarify. Because something is missing for you. And this person got some type of toxic energy here. I don't like it. It could be a Capricorn. I don't like they got the five of swords and the devil. I don't like it. What are their intentions? Let me look from another deck. That's interesting. Something is up. Let's see. Two have Cherish the day, won't go astray. Mm -hmm -hmm. Ooh, justice in reverse tried to pop up. Okay, let's go second round here. Second round, okay. How does Sagittarius feel about this person? Seven of wands in reverse. Okay, so that's the card they pull. Seven of wands in reverse, okay. How does Sagittarius feel about this person? The Ten of Swords. Oh, are we? Uh, three of Pentacles in reverse. Who is this person we are pulling? Oh. Yeah. Oh, man. The more information I'm getting, the crazier this read is getting. Some of y'all, this there's a third party involved. Some of y'all, it's a work romance. I'm seeing betrayals. I'm seeing endings. The energy was so different in the beginning. Hold on. How does this person feel about you? Seven of Swords. Oh, go on. No, no. So, so here's what it is. You want, okay, Hierophant was there. You want commitment, but you're not sweating it. You're not sweating it. You're not stressing it. The justice in reverse with the two of swords again. I don't know about this person's energy. I'm going to be honest with you now. I don't know who this is. Whoever I picked up on in the beginning, this ain't the same energy. I saw a King of Pentacles. Now, I don't know if that King of Pentacles was you, but whoever this is, they got some weird energy. They got some weird energy. A Libra here for some of you. I don't know if you trust this person at all. This seemed like somebody that's hurt you or made you feel betrayed in some type of way. And I see why. Seven of Swords, Justice in Reverse, they did some sneaky shit to you. Whoever this is, I'm pulling. Four right now. 
This is somebody you gave up on. But Eight of Cups is in reverse. You're not fighting for it anymore. The moon, I'm seeing stuff about secrets. I feel like you're not fighting for this anymore, but you got the Eight of Cups in reverse, which means you haven't actually officially walked away, walked away. Remember I said I saw the death card? I said you end in something. So it was like I was seeing an ending, and I guess that King of Pentacles could be a newer energy coming your way, whether you're male or female. Let's see the Seven of Wands in reverse. The Tower. Yeah, it's showing me somebody you gave up on. It's showing me a, a, a Tower moment happened between you and somebody. Could be a Scorpio. And it's showing me you gave up after that. You stopped fighting. Let me see the Ten of Swords. I don't know who this is we're picking up on. It feels like an X. Yeah, you dropped something. Five of Cups. Oh, okay, you missed this person though. Disappointment, sadness, regret pain you went through a lot with this person you was dealing with they shit for a while let me see the three of pentacles in reverse some of y'all they had you in a third party page of swords in reverse and the three of pentacles yeah some of you they had they lied to you about something or with some type of gossip or some type of drama they got you caught up in involving somebody else let me see the eight of cups in reverse Maybe you was acting blind to it for a minute. Four cups. You're not happy. As far as this person goes, you know, you're discontent. Let me see the the seven of swords. You had a tower moment with somebody. The hierophant. What the fuck? Oh my god look two different decks nah son and some of y'all this person lied to you about being in a relationship or being in a marriage nah son this person did some lying shit that's why that hierophant was there cause that's about commitment they lied to you about something. And it has something to do with either their commitment to you or them committing to somebody else. Let me see the nine of pentacles here. The nine of cups. Some of y'all, ooh, ooh, this person right here. Let me see the two of swords in reverse. I'm telling you. See, Ten of Swords, Ten of Swords. Painful ending, painful ending. Let me see the justice in reverse. Some of y'all, this was an actual divorce. Ace of Swords in reverse. I'm seeing, though, yo, this took a crazy turn. This read was crazy. Yeah, look at this shit. Look at this shit. High Priestess in reverse. Ace of Wands in reverse. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Five of Cups. Y'all both miss each other, whoever this is. Or y'all both just got a lot of disappointment, regret. It seemed like this shit went, was... <sighs> I'm seeing all types of crazy shit going on. I'm seeing secrets, hidden shit. I'm seeing something about money. There was all types of betrayals and, and shit that went down here. Wow. I'm thinking it was going to be all easy, lolly da da with the hierophant popping up. I'm like, oh, this is what's up. This is a, this is a, you in a relationship. You want to, uh, no, it's, it's more than that. It's, it's some other shit going on. You feel betrayed by this person. They feel betrayed by you. You got wounds from them. They got wounds from you. I'm seeing painful words exchange, arguments. Yo, that's why that tower is here. The tower is the tower. But for a lot of you, this your person pulled the seven of swords twice at the same time from two different tower decks. We all know the seven of swords is one of the worst cards in, in the deck when it's the love reading. Because that's about betrayal. That's about deception. 
Okay. Okay. Sometimes it could be but just about irresponsibility. Okay. But it's not a good card to get in a love reading. Okay. For the person that you are interested in. No, that's usually somebody you cannot trust. That's somebody sneaking, hiding, doing shit behind your back. Keeping something from you. You know what I mean? Wow. All right. So, um, wow. That took a turn. We're going to go into the extended now. I mean, in the extended, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, I'll look at this person to see what actions they're going to be taking moving forward towards you. But I'm also going to go ahead and look at new love for you. Cause I know a lot of you seem like you want to move past this. Um, so we're going to go ahead and see, um, you know, what, what you can expect in new love, you know, who do you have coming your way and et cetera. All right. Um, let's see. What are the hidden love messages from this person to you? Sagittarius. Ooh, you don't know how hard it was to let you go. Or tried to flop out, but there's a free one for you. Two, one more. Three. All right. So we'll go ahead and look at those in the extended and reveal those hidden messages from this person to you. Thanks for watching. All right. I love you guys. You can go ahead and hit the like button. If you don't mind, please show your girl some love. Leave me a comment. Come talk to me. Subscribe. Tell a friend. Share the video. Um, personal readings. Email me. Miss Hawaii readings at gmail.com. I love you all. Um, shout out to all of you. And I'll see you in the extended. The link is below. If not, see you next time. Have a blessed weekend. Bye.